Hello, my name is Hugh Bullen. I'm here at Porsche Centre Calgary. And today I'd like to tell you about this 2019 Porsche 911 Turbo that we have in our inventory. Uh, this is chalk, which is one of my favorite colors on the 911. And uh, with everything that's added to this car, I think chalk is the perfect color. Uh, and I'm sure you'll agree if you come down and see it. Um, I have quite a long list of options here. This is a very exclusive vehicle. Um, so bear with me whilst I show you all of these, but I think you'll be quite impressed once you learn what was added to this car. Um, so yeah, chalk is the color and um, it is a non-metallic finish and it's very, very cool uh, out in the sun. On the inside, you have a full black leather interior with a lot of contrasting red stitching. Um, these are some serious extras here. So there is red stitching across kind of the top of the dash here, around the speakers, around the Sport Corono dial, around the other little speaker here. And then as you step inside, it's around the steering wheel. Um, it's around the base of the steering wheel there. It's around the, the door side as you enter in here, around the armrest, the back of the seat is leather with red stitching. You step into the back, there's red stitching everywhere in there. And it's really, really cool. Um, and I'm sure, uh, again, when you see the photos, when you come see it, it's, uh, it's pretty impressive. Um, we have the 20 inch 911 Turbo S wheel. So this is the upgraded wheel from the standard one and it's then the center locking rim. And I think that uh, is, uh, is the wheel that you should have on these cars. It's very, very cool. And the uh, center lock is, is pretty classic with Porsche. Um, you do have lane change assist. So you're gonna have the nice blind spot monitoring on the uh, door here. So if someone's in your blind spot, it's gonna warn you. Uh, we have front axle lift system on this car. So with that, uh, the front of the vehicle will lift up um, Speeds of about 35, 40 kilometers an hour. Uh, great for entering a strip mall or entering your uh, car park or something like that. Uh, so you don't scrape that beautiful front end of the vehicle. Um, the back of the car, Porsche and then 911 Turbo is uh, in black, which again, I think contrasts very well with the chalk and black and everything theme on this car. Um, we do have sport design side mirrors and uh, they are in carbon fiber. Um, which I think looks really cool. I'm a big, big fan of carbon fiber. Um, stepping back into the inside now, we have seat ventilation, so cooled seats. We have a luggage net in the passenger footwell and smokers package. Um, everyone says, well, why do you, no one smokes these days, what are you doing? Uh, well, actually, uh, it just makes it a little bit smoother down there uh, rather than having a little tiny hole. We think it's better for, so it doesn't collect dust, things like that. Um, you do have Porsche entry and drive, so you can basically put your hand around the door handle, enter the vehicle, and away you go. Um, we like that you have the key on the left, which is obviously synonymous with Porsche, which is fantastic. Uh, also on the inside, you have the light design package. That's going to be your ambient lighting on the interior. We have a glass sunroof, which is nice and black up here. Uh, again, contrasts very nicely with the chalk on the exterior. We have power steering plus. Power steering plus is going to make the steering a little bit lighter at lower speeds, a little bit stiffer at faster speeds. So you have a bit more of a dynamic feel. Um, as I mentioned, we have the steering column, we have the back of the seats in leather with the contrasting stitch. We have a Burmester sound system. This is an upgraded sound system on this car and it is fantastic. I think when you get a car like this, uh, if you're anything like me and you're listening to music in your car, there's really nothing better um, than driving out, let's say to Banff in this car, listening to your favorite songs. Um, the window trim here is in carbon fiber. Um, when I get to the extra bits that we've added here, you'll realize that that is a really great option to add in carbon fiber. And it's just those little final touches that make this car so, so special. Um, the air vents are in leather. So uh, if I sort of peek in here, we have the nice red stitching around the air vents and then the actual slats are leather as well, um, which is quite something. Normally it's obviously just plastic. So just adds that little extra touch of uh, sophistication there. Um, we have our vehicle key painted, uh, so it's in painting in chalk, and then you have the, cou the uh, pouch as well. So just a nice little thing to maybe have in a briefcase or in a handbag or in a, your pocket or something. I really, really like that. Um, the interior trim is carbon fiber as well. So all the way through the inside there, around where the gear shifter is, um, that's carbon fiber too. And uh, again, with all these exterior elements with the chalk and the black, it all contrasts very, very nicely. Um, so that leads me to the exterior package in carbon fiber. So that is where you get the mirrors here in carbon fiber. You get the air intakes here in carbon fiber, which touching this and looking at it, believe me, this is really, really something. Uh, and then you also have carbon fiber back here too. Um, 
which again, it all ties in to be so nice in this vehicle and the nice little special bits that you'll notice. Um, the seats are the 18 way seats. So you do have those extra adjustments. Great if you like to have a bit more support in your sides here. Um, on sportier cars, we notice people typically like that seat, to be honest with you. Um, side skirts are painted, so down here, this is painted obviously in chalk, rather than being black, a nice little touch. And actually kind of makes the vehicle appear to be lower to the ground, which is um, very, very cool. The um, LED headlights here are tinted, so they're just a little bit darker in terms of color rather than having a sort of a chromia finish, which again ties into the black and chalk and theme that we've got going through the car here. The instrument dials and um, the Sport Chrono dial are white, um, which I think is great on this car. Had it been red, it would have been maybe a little bit too much red. So I think the white in there uh, ties in very nicely with all those other elements. Um, we have Porsche Crest on the headrest, which is really, really lovely, obviously. Um, sort of peek in there and it just reminds you, obviously, you know what you're driving, but just a nice little touch there. The seat belts are in red. So when you sit down, you're going to have that red coming across you, which ties in with the wrist stitching, which ties in with the red brake caliper there. Uh, and I'm sure you'll agree, all these things as you're driving around really tie in nicely. Um, there's a couple of extra bits here um, for the contrasting stitching, which I've already mentioned. Uh, but the two final bits are going to be the door sills, are carbon fiber, and they are illuminated. So as I open the door here, it says turbo, it is uh, carbon fiber, and then that does light up. So you get in the car at night and it shines, which is really lovely. And then the tail lights. It tinted as well. So uh, as I'm sure you'll agree, that's a lot of options that makes this car very beautiful, very sophisticated. Um, it is just under $240,000 plus GST. Um, this car has the 3.8 liter twin turbocharged engine with 540 horsepower. And when you do a launch control, which believe me you want to do, when you do a launch control, you can do zero to 100 in three seconds, which is quite something. Um, Give this video a like, give us a subscribe, and come down and we can show this to you in person. Thank you very much. Bye.